My name is Steve Bennett and I'm the principal of Roxby Downs Area School. The Roxby Downs Area School is an R-12 school. It's actually the biggest area school in the state. We have 630 students at the moment, about 50 teaching staff and 22 support staff. Our vision is empowering all learners to reach their potential. So I guess that's about providing opportunities for all kids, uh, meeting everyone's needs and, and offering a curriculum that's broad. So right through to year 12 we have kids who follow vocational pathways as well as those who follow an academic pathway. The class ratios are really good. Our reception to year two classes will all be around 21. Our primary classes 27 and most of our secondary classes are around the 23-24 mark. As the major employer of the town, BHP Billiton are a major support of our school. Two key projects, the Flipside Health Program that they support us with and I guess the second major one would be the Trade Training Centre. Uh, they've been an enormous support in helping get that up and running. The Trade Training Centre was opened this year and it's a partnership approach between Roxby Downs Area School, Mari Aboriginal School and Woomera Area Schools. We offer VET programs through that particular Trade Training Centre that enables our kids to follow the trade pathways that they might be interested in. In particular, the next 12 months we'll be running engineering courses and automotive courses. BHP have been a major sponsor and they actually sit on our governance board for running the Trade Training Centre, so it's, it's great to have them on board. They actually encourage us to work very closely with organisations such as TAFE to make sure that what we're offering the kids is nationally accredited training and it's in line with what they need their apprentices to be doing. And they actually employ people straight from these courses and we've had a, a large success rate in terms of our kids leaving straight into employment with BHP. Our average class sizes are around 23 um, in our primary and slightly less for our junior primary and smaller class sizes mean greater individual attention and makes it easier to achieve individual learning goals. We have really strong links with our Roxby Kindergarten. We're in close proximity so it makes transition really smooth and it's that continuity of learning where it's just moving from one area just across through the fence to the new space. Our transition process starts from around the middle of the year and includes parent information evenings. It includes school tours. This is followed up by the students visiting in the last term for five weeks and gradually that time builds up with their last visit culminating in a whole day. We have three specialist areas. They are Spanish, the Arts and Health and PE. All the three teachers that teach those areas are highly skilled. Junior primary and primary students also have access to our secondary areas. So if organised by class teachers, teachers have the opportunity to have their colleagues support in developing some really quality learning programs for their kids. We have four year six leaders. They are backed by a team of student voice representatives who also apply and then this team of students meet and they come up with ideas to improve our school and then it's up to them to action those. There are many opportunities that are both for within the curriculum but also extracurricular. So for example, they may be sleepovers, camps. Our five, six classes tend to do a lot of team building and really building up the upper primary ethos. Overall, we just have such a large and dedicated teaching staff and just outstanding facilities. School has three values, respect, responsibility and persistence. And we believe that by instilling these into our students and our staff, that that will give them the skills to be successful lifelong learners. So our school has three focus areas in our development plan and our numeracy, literacy and wellbeing. So wellbeing, if we don't have staff and students in a community that is, has positive wellbeing and feeling comfortable with each other, then nothing else works. And as everyone knows, literacy and numeracy are cornerstones to everybody's learning and how they can develop their learning in the future, whether it's academically or just in the workplace. It's critical to success in their futures. 
So we have some specialised facilities, so we have labs for science, physics, chem, biology and general science. We have a tech studies area, we have two specific areas, one for woodwork and one more for metalwork. We have an, a dedicated art room where we do your traditional art as well as the um, digital art. We also have a home ec room for cooking area and then a designated area for textiles so students get to do that as well. And we also have a special ed unit for students with specialised needs who have a dedicated area for those students to work. We have a number of students that come from a variety of Aboriginal groups, which is a different challenge to many other schools have. So we have this Yakety Room, which is a meeting room for students and for families of students. We have uh, an Aboriginal education worker and a teacher who works um, and focuses on supporting those students in the communities to do that. My name is Andrew Hudson. I'm the IT coordinator here at the school, so I manage the IT infrastructure from reception through to year 12. We've got our CAD suite, which we're in now, and we have 3D printers in this room. We also have a laser cutter, which the students can use. We use a range of different programs from Autodesk, which includes Inventor, Revit, which is an architecture-based program. Uh, we have 3ds Max, Maya, so we can do animations, we can do creature creations and things like that. And we're looking at technologies such as our interactive whiteboards and interactive projectors here at the school, which will go right across from, uh, from R to 12. We're looking at our wireless network that we have here at the school, which then is going to hopefully support our uh, BYOD program initiative. We'll be starting in 2015, so bringing their own laptop or their own device here to school. You know, the kids here have got equipment that would easily be as good as any private school in Adelaide. Um, sometimes the feedback we get is that it's actually better than. My name is Georgia Boylan. I am a second year teacher at Roxby Downs Area School. I love spending time with young people. I love being able to watch them grow and develop, not only as a person, but academically and socially. Personally, I felt very lucky. Professionally, I think it's helped my career. Um, to receive my temporary contract, which was for last year, then to have it extended for this year, and then from the end of next year, I'm actually permanent here at the school. So to receive permanency in your third year, I feel very lucky to have that happen to me. When I first arrived here, I was extremely surprised. The town centre itself is very attractive. It's very lush here, it's very green. We are in the centre of Roxby, a shopping centre right across the road that has terrific facilities. We've got a Woolworth centre there and um, a travel agency, pet store, takeaway food shops. And on the right hand side of us we have a local cinema, a swimming centre, gymnasium, a, a cafe. So we're, we're surrounded by everything we need and we've only got to walk out the front door really. It's actually really good to get here by air. One and a half hour flight up to four to five flights a day, so yeah, access to Roxby by air is actually really good. The houses are fantastic here. All of the luxuries that you would normally expect to get in a rental house are there. Generally speaking, the houses are extremely comfortable, cheap to occupy, and ideally located in terms of the school. I didn't know what to expect, and when I moved up here, um, I was nervous at first, but. Honestly, living here is the, one of the best things I've done, and that's being truly, truly honest. I, I really enjoy it here. I love the town, I love the people, and I love my job. Roxby Downs Area School is a great place to work. The town is a great place to live. The facilities are outstanding. Uh, you know, we have everything here that you could possibly want. And I would really encourage any young graduate to, to really give our school their consideration. Our kids are, are really friendly and vibrant. Uh, our teaching staff is a really good balance between young and old. Uh, some, some amazing teachers here. So it's also a great place for someone who is an aspiring leader to come and start their leadership career as well.